Welcome back to another video. I've got the Nightcore HC35 head torch in for testing and review today, sent in via the company. This is a bit more interesting, some of the lights that I've looked at, because this is now using the 21700 battery. So we should have some extended run times and also that headline power output of 2700 lumens. Everything's neatly packed away in the box, so we'll start off with the light. I have put the dimensions on the screen for you. And you'll notice, obviously, as expected, there is a bit of a size increase and the weight that's listed is without the battery. Later on, I will come to the weight with everything included. This light also has a magnetic base, as you can see with the symbol on the underside and a slightly recessed switch at the top. It's pretty similar to the HC33 that I looked at. You've large grooves at the top to help dissipate the heat. As far as the weight goes, I tested it in metric and imperial and you'll see it comes in around 211 grams and imperial is 7.4 ounces I will talk about the weight a little bit later on due to the increase in power output they've gone with four LEDs and they seem to have an optical lens on the front or these mini lenses on the front of a reflector give you an angle there so you can see it so that should spread the light out quite a bit the included cell is rated to 4000 milliamp hour and this particular one is a protected version. You can see the button top and the protection circuit. On the bottom there's your spring which is gold plated. Quite a hefty spring on that, you can definitely feel the tension on it. And then the inside is a contact point. A little bit disappointed that Nightcore didn't put a spring in there. The reason for that is if you're using unprotected seals, which you most likely will be, then you'll have to put spacers on them. They do give you an 18650 adapter included in the box and I have a special cell from Olight, it's a 10 amp high drain protected cell. You'll need to use these high drain batteries if you are using the protected cells because otherwise it's going to trip when you hit the turbo mode. I like the fact that they did include it but I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't put that spring at the top because again if you're going to be using the unprotected cells in the adapter, the 18650s, and they're all pretty much high drain batteries then again you're going to have to add spacers. Depending on the length you might need one or two spacers with this. So that's just something which I think they could have changed in the design. Would have made life a little bit easier. When you insert a cell and screw it up you'll see the blue light at the top of the switch flash and that gives you your battery voltage indication. And user guide, I will put that on the screen a bit later on so you can have a look through that and read it if you need to. The other included accessories are the micro USB cable, spare o-ring, a clip, and a wrist strap. Now going on to the head strap that you get, this has reflective stripes on it, the silver areas, so that's all around the back as well. And on the front they've gone with plastic molding and a steel clip to hold the light in place. And it also has a bit of texturing on there, which I'll show you in a minute. Headband also has holes, so it's perforated and it feels nice quality. There's more of those reflective stripes around the back. So they have thought about the design on this and I quite like it. It's one of the nicer head straps that I've looked at. Quite impressed with the clip on this. It needed to be strong because you've a larger light and a bit more weight and it holds it in place absolutely perfectly without any problems at all. There's nothing flimsy about it in any way. The knurling on the body that grips with the plastic pattern which is embossed into the plastic at the front so it stops it slipping around. Once you set the angle on this it holds firm and in place. So hopefully if that holds up over long term use not really sure at this stage but it looks to be quite nicely made and that is quite a nice little design touch. There are two places to put the clip but I've put it on the bottom here to show you that you can if you want to put it on the light and attach it to the head strap that is quite a nice little feature so you don't have to keep taking it on and off if you're happy with the position. As there's nowhere to put the wrist strap there's no hole in the base cap what you're going to have to do is thread it through the clip and then attach it to the light measured the charging speeds with the included 21700 and it's pretty quick you get uh, nearly 1.6 amps and it's around 1.1 1 .1 on the 18650 Olight that I tested battery capacity was 4161 discharge capacity test moving on to the user interface a single push and hold in for about a second takes you back to your last power level press again to cycle through the power levels and a long press to turn it off to get to your moonlight mode just a quick press when you're turning it on and that takes you directly to the lowest output. If you want to get to the turbo push and hold for about a second and a half to two seconds and then it goes into the turbo mode. 
just like most nightcore lights it's a triple press for the strobe and then you just push again to cycle through the three strobe modes that they've got on this light your normal strobe the beacon and the SOS only downside to the user interface is you have to have the light off to get to the strobe and it's just a case of remembering how you're going to turn it on whether you push and hold it or do a quick press depending on the power level that you want magnetic base is quite strong on this on really smooth surfaces it does slip around a bit that's the front of a fridge but if you've got a bit of texturing or any grip at all there's no problems at all with the light holding firm with the included battery so that extra weight even with the head strap on most surfaces you'll be able to stick it on with the magnet quite nicely comfort on this is good have to say you don't have any complaints with that but you will notice that additional weight so do take that into account if you are thinking about this light obviously there is a bit of a weight increase over the 18650 lights as usual I put the user guide on screen for you so feel free to pause that if you need to have a look and double check any of the information in that pay attention to the batteries that are listed out there because it does specify which ones you can use onto the beam shots now outside 800 lumens we've got a very wide spread on this light as we would expect with those optical lenses on the front and then we move up to the turbo there is a bit of a jump from 800 to 2700 but it really lights up that wide area fully from edge to edge if I compare it to the EC30 much more concentrated beam on that it's a mixed beam so you've got that hot spot in the middle and not so much spread on the outside I'll carry on with the beam shots now and come back at the end with a few thoughts and a conclusion Summing up on the HC35 from Nightcore, I quite like this light. I think they've done a good job in terms of the build and the headband is also very nice quality with a sturdy clip. So I'm pretty happy in that regard. The only thing that I would say is that I would have liked for that top spring to be included so that you can use unprotected cells. That's a design oversight in my view. 
not the end of the world but it's something they could have done and check to make sure that you're okay with the weight on this because it's definitely a heavier light compared to the normal 18650 head torches that are out there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't because I'll be doing more videos on different products in the future and thanks very much for watching.